Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session of physics, we shall discuss about light. Okay, so are you ready? Shall we discuss? Yes. So light. So visible light is a transverse and an electromagnetic wave and can travel through any medium, even vacuum. So transverse means what? The particles will vibrate perpendicular to the direction of the wave. And electromagnetic wave, it doesn't require any medium. It can travel through any medium, solids, liquids, plasma, Bose-Einstein condensates or even vacuum. And how we can see these uh, light cone-shaped cells which are present in our eyes act as receivers turn to the wavelengths in this narrow band of, we have cones, right? Yes or no? So these cones in our cells of the eyes, they cause to make to see this light other portions of the spectrum have wavelengths too large or too small energetic which cannot be seen in our cones of our eyes so other wavelengths we cannot see those uv radiation or microwaves or radio waves or infrared radiation we cannot see they are in insensitive to our cones of our eyes so only visible light can be seen through our cones of our eyes okay moving on light always travels in straight lines whether it is in zigzag manner but it will travel in straight line only it will not travel like this okay and ch it changes its direction when there is change in medium or obstruction in the middle Okay, its speed is always constant that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second in vacuum and it is less in other mediums like solids, liquids, gases but in vacuum it is always constant that is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second and how much time does the light take from the sun to travel from sun to earth? It takes 8 minutes 20 seconds from sun to earth after traveling 150 million kilometers which is equals to one astronomical unit we have studied in geography right so it takes 8 minutes 20 seconds this is a repeated question in SSC examinations okay 8 minutes 20 seconds the time taken by the light to travel from sun to earth next light so Isaac Newton in the years 1665 to 1666 he showed that the light is blend of not only one color there are many colors so it disperses into many colors so he passed the light through a prism right so it dispersed into many colors like violet indigo blue green yellow orange and red this is a vibgr right yes or no so single white light generally it is constituting into seven lights that is our rainbow depending on the wavelength of the color so when i pass the light through a prism so each color refracts at differently at different angles depending on the wavelength of the color okay next so this is the wavelength of the uh, visible spectrum we have already seen 300 or 400 to 700 or 7 800 okay clear with this moving on so frequency is always inversely proportional to the wavelength. Already discussed that. Types of materials which deal with light. So first we have opaque objects, translucent objects and transparent objects. What is this opaque objects? So opaque objects doesn't allow light to pass through them. They are completely opaque like wood. Suppose there is a box of wood. If I am passing, uh, if I am making light to fall on it, does it come out? no so this is this happens for opaque objects uh, opaque objects will not allow light to pass through them and image is not totally visible stone wood metals all these are examples of opaque objects next is translucent objects so what do you mean by translucent they allow partially the light to pass from them and image is blurred example is oil paper thin cloth sunglasses all these allow light to pass partially so image will be partially visible and it is blurred so those objects are called translucent objects and next is transparent objects so what do you mean by transparent they completely allow light to pass through them opposite to opaque an image is totally visible clear glass air water 
if we can see air we would have not seen the light properly right so as we don't see air that's why we can see the light properly and the other objects properly okay these are the transparent objects translucent objects and opaque objects hope you are clear with this type of materials which deal with light next properties of light so first property is reflection what do you mean by this reflection so whenever any light ray incident on a reflecting surface or an obstruction it gets reflected back this is called incident ray and this is called reflected ray and this is called normal always angle of incidence will be equal to angle of reflection okay so when a ray hits an obstruction in its path it is get re reflected and as per law of reflection angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection if you can see the diagram okay moving on to other properties of light the next one is a refraction so what is this refraction whenever there is change in medium there is a change in speed actually suppose a light ray has to pass like this right so now there is a denser medium a less denser medium okay so the actual light ray should pass like this but it will bend away from the normal okay because of the change in the medium right so if there is slower medium to faster medium change it will bend away from the normal if it is from faster to slower medium it will bend towards the normal okay hope you can cle clearly see this uh, figure right so this is called refraction change in speed will happen because of there is change in medium air to solid solid to air solid to gas liquid to gas gas to liquid like that whenever there is change in medium there will be change in speed of that light ray next examples of refraction so the very best example is swimming pool right so there is a swimming pool or water tank when i see the, the swimming pool from a distance the floor of the swimming pool will appear nearby to me right this is because of refraction hope you have observed right yes or no yes so the floor of the swimming pool will be appearing to me as it as if it is near to me right but when i go into the swimming pool it will appear that it is 11 feet or 15 feet but when i see it from outside it will be around 1 feet or 2 feet from the surface right so due to next is atmospheric refraction what is this atmospheric refraction we'll see now so early sunset and delayed sunset why this happens we'll see with an example now see so this is space right this is atmosphere layers like troposphere stratosphere mesosphere all these are layers so now this is the actual position of the sun the rays are entering from space towards the atmosphere as there is change in medium from space to atmosphere so it will undergo refraction as we have discussed so this is the actual position but when i'm seeing from here it will be appearing like this okay so currently this position is visible to us because of refraction so same thing will happen for stars also right so stars will be appearing that it, they are twinkling in that generally stars doesn't twinkle because of atmospheric refraction this will happen so what is the example of atmospheric refraction early sunset and delayed sunset sorry early sunrise and delayed this should be early sunrise and delayed sunset the sun is visible a little before the actual sunrise until a little after the actual sunset why this happens because of the change in the medium from space to atmosphere sun appears to rise two minutes earlier and to set two minutes later than the actual ones because of atmospheric refraction is it clear to everyone so next example of atmospheric refraction is twinkling of stars 
stars will appear to twink. Suppose this is the actual star. So I am seeing from the earth. But due to atmospheric refraction, this is the apparent position I will be seeing. Clear? This is the actual position. Hope you can clear. So the, hence, because of atmospheric refraction, the stars will appearing that appear that it will twinkle. Okay? They are glowing. Okay? Next. So clear about this. Moving on to the next concept called total in internal reflection. What is this total internal reflection? So when light travels from an optical denser medium to a rarer medium, at the interface, it is partly reflected back into the same medium and partly refracted. This is called total internal reflection. Suppose there is a water bubble or a dusty particle. So first it is entering, it is getting reflected back. Then it is getting refracted back. Like that, this is called total internal reflection. So this happens because... The very best example is mirages. When we are going on roads, there will be mirages saying there is a water on the road, right? But there is no actually water there. That is because of the dust particles which are getting total internally reflected. Once reflection will take place and refraction will take place in that dust particles in the atmosphere. Next prism, diamond, rainbow. All these are very best examples of total internal reflection. The next concept called dispersion of light. So what is this dispersion of light? It is a phenomenon of splitting of a beam light into seven constant colors. We have already seen a prism splitting into seven colors, right? Seven colors. This is called dispersion of light. So it was discovered by Newton in 1665. Light is made up of seven different colors. We have already discussed this. Yes. Next, rainbow. So, how rainbow is caused? Okay, most of you have not known this. We shall see what is this now. So, rainbow is a combined effect of reflection, refraction and dispersion of sunlight. Three effects will happen. Don't think rainbow means only one. Reflection, refraction and dispersion of light by spherical water droplets of rain. So, what is the best condition to form to a rainbow. Suppose there is a sun now, right? This is our sun. So first the condition for observing a rainbow is the sun should be shining in one part of the side. For say near western, this is the western side. And the observer, and it is raining in the opposite part of the sky. Here it is raining from the clouds. Right? In the opposite part in the eastern side. Right? An observer can therefore see a rainbow only when he is backside of the sun. So he must be seeing like this. So there will be a rainbow like this formed only when his back is shown to the sun. Okay? He can't see the rainbow when he is facing the sun but he is away from the sun. Clearly we can see the rainbow. So see here the observer is standing and he can see the rainbow and sun is back of the observer, right? So reflection, refraction and total infrared reflection will take place for a rainbow. Clear with this? Moving on to the next question concept called diffraction. So what is this diffraction? So it involves a change in direction of waves as they pass through an opening or around a barrier through the path. So suppose there is an opening like this. So now the light waves are passing the normal way but they will pass in a different way when they are going through an opening. You will see in the diagram. Okay see this. So when there is a small gap, there is a large diffraction effect. When there is a wide gap, there is a less diffraction effect. This is called diffraction. When the, there is change in the direction of the waves, when it is passing through an opening or around a barrier. Suppose it is moving in, in, in a bend pipe. 
okay there will be a diffraction here okay because there is a change in direction right next concept is scattering of light so what is the scattering of light so scattering of light is nothing but as sunlight travels through the earth's atmosphere it gets scattered by the atmospheric particles so light of shorter wavelength is scattered much more than the light of longer wavelengths clear with this so examples of scattering of light bluish color of the sky why color of the sky is blue because of scattering of light okay okay what is the condition for us we have already seen light of shorter wavelengths will be scattered much more than the light of longer wavelengths generally in vibgr which has the lowest wavelength the vibgr violet has lowest wavelength but for our eyes blue color is more visible so that's why color of the sky is blue because of the scattering of lowest wavelength blue rather than violet okay and reddish color of the sun during sunrise and sunset is also because of scattering of light we'll see with an example okay so why the reddish color of the sun generally norm in the normal in a normal day sky the sun will appear yellowish color but while sunrise and sunset the color of the sun will be reddish why it is so right so during the day starting and the day ending the sun's rays have to pass through a larger distance in the atmosphere right so this is during afternoon so sun's rays doesn't need to travel more distance but while sunrise and sunset the sun will be at the horizon right this is called horizon so it has to travel a larger distance during the sunrise and sunset so as the remaining colors are already scattered in the atmosphere so most of the blue and other shorter wavelengths are removed by scattering the least scattered light is red so that's why the sun will be reddish during sunrise and as well as sunset okay this reddish color is because of all the light shorter wavelengths are already scattered right the longer wavelength reddish is remained during the sunrise and sunset so that's why during the sunrise and sunset this color of the sun will be very reddish because it has to travel a longer distance so this explains the reddish appearance on the sun on full moon near the horizon okay hope you are clear with these concepts right so we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much